Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of quadrilaterals, we shall be taking two questions based on rectangle. These are the two questions which we are going to study in this video. Now let's start with the first question. The diagonals of a rectangle ABCD intersect at O. If angle BOC is equal to 70 degree, find angle ODA. Now, as you can see in the given figure, ABCD is a rectangle and angle BOC is equal to 70 degree. We have to find angle ODA. Now, let's start with the solution. ABCD is a rectangle in which the diagonals are intersecting at O. So, we can say that angle BOC and angle AOD form vertically opposite angles and therefore both are equal to 70 degree. Now, further diagonals of the rectangle are also equal in length. So, we can say AC is equal to BD and therefore half of AC is equal to half of BD which implies that AO is equal to DO. Now, since AO is equal to OD, we can say that triangle AOD is an isosceles triangle and we know in an isosceles triangle angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So, we can say angle ODA is equal to angle OAD, let it be equal to x degree. Now, further in triangle AOD, we shall apply angle sum property to calculate the value of x. So, we will say angle A plus angle O plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. So, x degree plus 70 degree plus x degree is equal to 180 degree. Further, x plus x is 2x and 180 minus 70 is 110. So, x is equal to 110 divided by 2 that is 55 degree. So, x value is uh, 55 degree which is also angle ODA. So, this is how we have calculated over here angle ODA which has come 55 degree. Now, let us take up second question. ABCD is a rectangle in which DP and BQ are perpendiculars from D and B respectively on diagonal AC. Show that triangle ADP is congruent to triangle CBQ. Angle ADP is equal to angle CBQ and DP is equal to BQ. So, this is the question given to us is the rectangle ABCD and DP and BQ are the two perpendiculars on the diagonal AC and we have to prove that triangle ADP is congruent to triangle CBQ and further angle ADP is equal to angle CBQ and side DP is equal to side PQ. Now, let us start with the solution. In triangle ADP and triangle CBQ, if you observe, AD is equal to BC because opposite sides of rectangle are equal. Further, angle DAP is equal to angle BCQ. Both are alternate interior angles since the opposite sides are parallel. So, they form alternate interior angles. And further, angle P is equal to angle Q that is 90 degree that is given to us that DP and BQ are perpendicular, so they form 90 degree. So, we can say that triangle ADP is congruent to triangle CBQ by AAS congruency. Now, since we have proved that triangle ADP is congruent to triangle CBQ, we can say that their corresponding parts are also equal. This is the property of congruent triangles. Whenever the two triangles are congruent, we can say that their corresponding parts are also equal. So, likewise, we can prove the second and the third point by saying that angle ADP is equal to CBQ by CPCT and again side DP is equal to QB by CPCT. Full form of CPCT is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. The, there are total six corresponding parts, the three sides and the three angles. So, all are equal to one another. So, that's why we have proved the second and the third point by just saying that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal and therefore, hence we have proved the second and third point. So, hope you have understood both these questions. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a good day ahead.